Uh, today's our topic of discussion is uh, the MCQs of uh, mechanical properties of fluids. Chapter number two, exercise, physics, state board of Maharashtra. First MCQ is a hydraulic lift is designed to lift heavy objects of maximum mass 2000 kg. The area of cross section of piston carrying the load is 2.25 into 10 days to minus 2 meters square. What is the maximum pressure the smaller piston would have to bear? So, here uh, we are asked to find pressure, formula to find pressure which is exerted on the piston is P is equals to F upon A. Let us check out the data. First is mass given which is 2000 kg. The area of cross section which carrying this load or mass is 2.25 into 10 raise to minus 2 meter square and we are asked to find the maximum pressure. We are not given here the force as it is the requirement of our uh, formula pressure P is equal to F upon A where this F is the weight which is associated with the object of mass 2000 kg. So we will calculate this weight. It will be m into g where m is the mass, g is acceleration due to gravity. So let us write the data first. m is equals to 2000 kg and acceleration due to gravity g is 9.81 meter per second square. Substituting it here, force becomes f is equals to 2000 into 9.81 comes out to be f is equals to 19620 kg meter per second square. We learned it in chapter measurements. Kg meter per second square is nothing but 1 Newton. Therefore, force is equals to 19620 Newton. Now, let us calculate force, pressure, sorry. So, P is equals to F upon A, substituting F as 19620 divided by area of cross section given is 2.25 into 10 raise to minus 2. All are in SI units, so there is no need of conversion. Then, simplifying it, 19620, shifting this 10 raise to minus 2 to the numerator, and we will be writing this 1.9620 as 1.9620, shift 4 digits towards left. So it will be 10 raise to plus 4, this minus 2 shifting to the numerator becomes plus 2, so this will be plus 2. Whole divided by 2.25. For Maharashtra State Board, it is expected to do all the calculations by log. Actually, it is not expected to show these calculations for MCQs, but for the calculation purpose, I am just writing it here 1.9620, it is in the numerator, and 2.25 in the denominator. So, it will be 2.25 number log logs are 
I'll write it quickly. 0 0.2927. Log of 19620, 1 1.9620, characteristic is 0, 22 under 5, comes out to be 3522, subtracting and finding its anti-log, it will be 0.9405 therefore answer comes out to be we have not taken this 10 raise to 4 plus 2 for calculation, therefore, pressure will be P is equals to 8.720 into 10 days to this plus 6. Into 10 days to minus 1. This will be P is equals to 0 0.8720 into 10 days to 6 Newton per meter square. So this is the answer. It is option number 1. 0 0.8711 into 10 days to 6. It's okay, uh, this uh, third decimal, third digit after the decimal point, it, it even if it, it doesn't match, that is okay. But up to two decimal points, it should match. Now let's check out with the second MCQ. Second MCQ says that two capillary tubes of red eye 0 0.3 centimeter and 0 0.6 centimeter are dipped in the same liquid the ratio of heights through which the liquid will rise in the tube will be so for this we are given two capillary tubes having red eye let us say radius of first capillary is 0 0.3 centimeter and radius of second capillary tube is 0 0.6 centimeter. These two are dipped into the same liquid. So, surface tension will remain constant. So, let us write general formula for surface tension. 2T cos theta is equals to H R rho into G where in terms of radii and tension because all the other things that is this is constant liquid is same and the solid in which it uh, comes into the contact that is also same so angle of contact angle of contact will also be same therefore surface tension will also be same for two uh, liquids or for two tubes as it is made with the same liquid rho and g also is constant therefore what is how radius varies with the height it can be written as h is inversely varying with the radius therefore for these two cases we will be writing it as h1 inversely proportional to r1 and h2 inversely proportional to R2. Therefore, the ratio H1 upon H2 comes out to be R2 upon R1. Substituting the values 0.6 divided by 0.3 
units are also same this can also be written as 6 by 3 and so is 2 by 1 therefore ratio of their heights h1 is to h2 is 2 is to 1 that is option number 2 let us check out with the second mcq third mcq sorry from textbook textbook the energy stored in soap bubble of diameter 6 cm and surface tension t is equals to 0 0.04 newton per meter is nearly we have given these options so let us solve this surface energy is surface tension into area therefore let us write the data first it's given that it is a soap bubble so soap bubble is very very thin therefore this surface energy two surfaces of the soap bubble comes in contact with the air therefore we will be writing we will be multiplying this surface energy formula with two because of two surfaces of the soap bubble ok so it will be as bubble is spherical in shape therefore area of the soap bubble is sphere area of the sphere is 4 pi into r square multiply it with 2 therefore it will be 2 into 4 pi r square therefore surface energy will be Two already written, written here even if you don't write it here in the formula that is ok it will be 2 into surface tension T into area 4 pi r square now we have given diameter D it is 6 centimeter therefore radius will be diameter by 2 comes out to be 3 centimeter but we have given tension in SI unit so we will be writing this uh, radius in terms of SI unit that is 3 into 10 raise to minus 2 meter and so surface energy will be 2 into 0 0.04 into 4 pi will be 3.14 we all know its value radius r will be 3 into 10 raise to minus 2 square of it therefore surface energy will be 2 into 0 0.04 i will write it as a 4 into 10 raise to minus 2 into this 4 into 3.14 into 9 into 10 raise to minus 4 it comes out to be 16 twos are 32 multiplied by 9 into 3.14 into 10 raise to minus 2 and minus 4 it will be 10 raise to minus 6 so the answer will be you can do this calculation manually or it can also be done by log but generally try to do this by log try to do the calculations by log because your board has answers calculation of answers by using log only therefore it is better always to do it by log therefore this total the multiplication comes out to be 0 0.9 into 10 raise to minus 3 all things are in SI unit so it's energy so SI unit of energy is 
joules or that can also be done tension is newton per meter bubble has a radius uh, that is area of cross section has a unit of square of radius so it will be meter square so this will be newton into meter that is force into displacement can also be done it will be a joule so this is the si unit of surface energy and answer is option a okay next mcq it's about uh, the terminal velocity so two hailstones with red eye in the ratio of 1 is to 4 fall from a great height through the atmosphere then the ratio of their terminal velocities if any uh, liquid or solid any kind of fluid thing or any kind of solid thing if uh, falls uh, in the atmosphere freely then after certain point it attains a constant velocity and that constant velocity is the terminal velocity its general formula is vt is equals to 2 by 9 r square into g into d2 minus d1 divided by n where d1 and d2 are the densities of that material and the atmosphere through which it is falling then n is the number g is acceleration due to gravity 2 by 9 these things are constant so your terminal velocity as per the condition it varies with the square of radius so these highlighted things they are constant so i will be writing formula with respect to radius formula of terminal velocity with respect to radius it is vt directly proportional to r square therefore for these two hailstones the terminal velocity 1 I will be writing it as a Vt1 it is R1 square and Vt2 it is directly proportional to R2 square therefore taking ratio of these two because we are asked to find the ratio of their terminal velocities so it will be Vt1 min, uh, divided by Vt2 comes out to be R1 square by R2 square substituting the values R1 and R2 I will write it in a little more simple form R1 by R2 square of it we are given R1 by R2 as 1 upon 4 therefore it will be 1 by 4 square of it comes out to be 1 upon 16 therefore ratio of the terminal velocity of the hailstone 1 to ratio of the terminal velocity of hailstone 2 it will be 1 is to 16 that is your option number 3 or option C so these are all the MCQs of chapter 2 which needs to be solved and the last MCQ actually it is uh, thero uh, theoretical uh, it says that Bernoulli theorem is based on the conservation of we are given uh, four options linear momentum mass energy and angular momentum so first of all for that we should know statement of Bernoulli theorem it states that in a steady flow the sum of all the forms of energy in a fluid along a streamline is the same at all the points on that streamline so it tells us about the conservation of energy therefore the option number three for mcq5 that is conservation of energy that is correct so that's all for the mcqs of chapter two thank you